G'day guys, Luke Atkinson here. Here to share a bit about the Ozone Rio V7s. Here behind me we have the Ultra X and also one of the standard construction kites. Um, I've gone for a 7, 9 and a 12 meter kite in my quiver. I'm 95 kilos and I've gone for the Ultra X in my 9 meter and my 12 meter kite. I've gone for the standard construction in my 7 meter. The reason I've gone for the Ultra X in the 9 and the 12 is just to keep that weight down in those bigger kite sizes. And then for the 7 meter, it's a pretty light kite anyway, so don't really need that light construction. How Ozone have kept the weight of the Ultra X down is with a 20% lighter Dacron construction that's actually stiffer than the original. And we've got 17% lighter canopy construction as well. So the other cool thing about these Rio Ultra Xs is the bridle construction. It's a lighter, thinner bridle, which reduces the weight and also adds to the speed through the air as well. With the standard construction rear, you've got the same trusty build that Ozone's always had. So two of my favorite things about these new V7 Rios is the wind range and the drift. I've been getting these kites out in much lighter wind, so you've got a much better bottom end, particularly the Ultra X, because they are lighter, they're stiffer, more responsive. And then for the top range as well, um, I've been taking these kites out in much stronger winds than I would normally take them out to. So really been putting them through their test and really happy with how they've drifted. It's perfect in the waves, lighter winds, and it also goes really well as a foil free ride kite. And they also jump really well. I've noticed they've got a bit more hang time, which makes it pretty fun for some strapless freestyle also.